welcome to the final video in the Fernwood Fall 2021 collection. Today is release date. A quick rundown of the new soaps we will have available. Candy Pumpkins Artisan Soap, Candy Corn Frosted Soap, Acorn Apple Cider Artisan Soap, Cranberry Orange Frosted Soap, Sweet Pumpkin Spice Artisan Soap, and today's soap, Tea and Novels frosted soap. Now, based on all of the comments I've seen on Instagram, I feel like this one is going to be everybody's favorite. That's why I saved it for last, because I thought it would be something to anticipate. It smells like tea. It looks very bookish. It would be perfect on anybody's shelf who has the interior decorating style of like cottage core, dark academia, all of those old world romantic. The, the, this is kind of for that. But maybe with like a little bit of a modern flair, like it has a mustard color in there. I don't know how popular that was in like 1800. Also available in the shop will be sampler packs, the soap frosting club box. I make diamond soaps and body lotions, perfume oils, and any other little goodies that I've made in videos this month or otherwise that I just want to throw up there. Any, you know, limited edition items as well. Before we make the actual soap, I do just want to say if you want to get these items today, and I only tell you this because it breaks my heart every time I get messages that are like, I was there like an hour late because I didn't set an alarm and y'all were out of stock of everything. Please be there when we first open up if there are things that you absolutely feel you must have. Again, we don't really keep things in arrears, so once it's gone, it's gone and I may never make it again. All that being said, and without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay guys, so the first thing I have to do today is add some titanium dioxide into my lye water solution, and then I'm gonna blend that up real quick before pouring it into my base oils. So let's go ahead and pour everything in. Now, this is a layered soap. So I'm going to be, first of all, trying to make all of these layers even, but they're also going to be textured and I'm gonna mix them up one at a time because I'm using a fragrance oil that I've never used before. It is a tea fragrance, so I feel like it's probably gonna slow down my batter speed because tea fragrances typically do. Still, you can't take too many chances with a new scent. And by the way, the fragrance is Chai Tea from Nature's Garden. It smells super amazing. So I'm going to start with this yellow color. This is is yellow oxide mixed with true yellow. Okay, I went ahead and added the fragrance soil, so now I'm going to mix it up. All right, and now I'm gonna pour that layer into my molds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. And lucky for me, it's getting thick, but it's not too thick, so it'll be perfect for texturing, but I'm not gonna have to wait forever to pour the next layer, so best of both worlds. Now, I'm just going to take my spatula and mess up this layer <laughs> just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit of texture. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of cocoa powder and make a little line with it. This looks like cinnamon on top of pumpkin pie. <laughs> All right, next layer. Okay, so this next color looks like kind of creamy beige, but it'll look a little pinker tomorrow because I'm using rose clay. And rose clay, whenever it is like raw soap batter, never looks as good. I don't know why. It just needs a little while to sit. Little wiggle, little less extreme on this layer. This is going quite well. <laughs> I wonder if that yellow I did is gonna be a little too strong. I don't know, I won't speculate. We'll wait till tomorrow to find out. All right, let's go in with our next layer here. This one is colored with Queen Catherine. <laughs> She's always so regal and beautimous. All right, last layer, the green one. <gasps> Looks so beautimous. Exactly the color of matcha tea. 
Now I'm going to take a makeup brush and I'm going to gently dust away all this extra cocoa powder onto my table and then I'll just wipe it up. I am trying to be careful because if you're not, you can get your makeup brush into the soap and then you're, you're in a bit of a pickle then because it's hard to get soap off of makeup brushes. Take it from a person who has experience. This is often a better way to clean off mica. Don't get it wet. <laughs> that is my, uh, that's my big piece of advice. Don't get the colorant wet. If you get it on the edges of your mold, try to dust it off first with a makeup brush. All right, we're going to mix up the soap frosting and let this set up. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am going to use a round tip today. This is the Atico 808. It comes with the Royalty Soap Soap Frosting Club, which yes, we still sell at royaltysoaps.com. I actually have quite a few of them in stock now. We uh, re-kit them. We get together for a gal's night and everybody kits and catches up on local gossip. <laughs> It's really fun. We love kidding nights. I cannot believe that it's release day and that the Fernwood Fall Soap Collection is already done. This one felt like it went by so quick. I am not okay. So the first embed I am adding is this little teapot. Oh my gosh. The first time I used this teapot was like eight years ago for an Alice in Wonderland soap. Listen, it's still my favorite teapot mold, okay? Okay, so I've tested a couple different ways here to put this in, and I've decided on sticking the little spout into the soap a little bit, mainly because I don't want it to break during shipping. That would be <laughs> such a disappointment. That is one thing that I really do consider whenever I am making designs, is the breakability of the embeds on top because I have made some soaps and I've seen people make soaps that have very fragile, very delicate embeds on top. And the first thing I think is always, oh, that's gonna break during shipping because they're just rough with those packages. So anything too fragile, um, especially for people who do not wrap their bars in some sort of protective covering. Oof. As someone who has shipped tens of thousands of bars of soap at this point, take it from me, you don't wanna put on embeds <laughs> that are gonna break, and you wanna make sure that your soap is very protected during shipping. All right, last ones here, two to go. And now, on the other side, we are going to add some mushrooms. I just felt like the soap needed mushrooms because mushrooms are kind of a fall thing, in my opinion, but also because it's very bookish. Like the type of book that I'm thinking of, one of the things I was thinking about when designing this soap was the Aunt Dimity books, I think. Oh, it's been so long since I even read them. I can't even remember the name of them, but I remember the concept and the main character preserves old historical documents. That's her job. So it has a very like library tea feeling to the whole book. And she travels to England and meets somebody and it's very whimsical. Like the whole thing is fantastic, highly recommend. But uh, I was thinking about that entire series while I was designing this. And of course also all the people that love Homesteady, Cottage Core, Anna Green Gables, that whole look is very in right now, especially in fashion. And I'm so grateful because I have waited years for this. Last one's here. Very good. All right. Ooh, and that soap frosting, she looks so good. All right, let me turn these around. This is what they look like on top. No glitter, I know. It's almost an entirely glitter-free month. There's a few exceptions, but not very many. Gonna go ahead and spritz this on top. It makes all those embeds shine up and look so nice. All right, and I will bring you guys in for a close-up. And this is what the soap looks like up close. I hope you love it. I know I do. I'm gonna let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we'll come back and cut it all up after this quick commercial break.
da 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 da. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you that I was painting the little dots on top of the mushrooms. <laughs> yes, the mushrooms are spotted. They are spotted mushrooms. I just mixed up a little bit of titanium dioxide with water. That's all I had to do to uh, make that look happen. Now listen, I'll admit I'm a tiddly bit, just a tiddly bit disappointed with how that pink layer turned out. It was supposed to be a lot darker than that, but I'll probably just fix it to make it darker um, in the future. Still, it's the same, like, tone family. Tone family? Is that even right? What am I saying? <laughs> I don't know, it makes sense in the lineup, but let me just show you what one of the bars looks like. Cut. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here is tea and novels, all pretty and ready to go. Again, we're gonna pink this layer up a little bit, but it honestly doesn't look half bad with the little teapot, the little mushroom. I hope it just escorts you off and transports you to a magical faraway land this fall. That is my goal with this particular bar. Like most art forms, I do have goals with my soaps. I want them to make you feel something. I want you, every time you look at it, to feel good in some sort of way. Now, obviously, with the Fernwood Fall Collection, it's all about the celebration of fall, both in nature and in our traditions and stuff. But for other collections, I may have a slightly different goal. Like, with the Nature Collection, I really wanted to do, I don't know, I guess something that was very grounding for people. Fire and water and earth and air are all things all of us need and can identify with, you know, no matter what country or culture you're from. So, you know, I, I like to be thoughtful <laughs> with my designs. They're often very, very reminiscent and very, very influenced by me personally. So whatever I'm thinking about, whatever media I'm consuming, influences what I decide to design for that month. So it's also interesting as a designer to make soaps one month, like design them, and then be in a completely different mood the next month because I've already, you know, submitted designs and they get transported back to where I was when I originally made the design. It's, it's a very powerful thing, our smell and our eyesight. There you go. I hope it makes you feel something. Ooh, ooh, I know. What's your favorite fall emoji? That's also pretty universal. Most of us have access to those. I have used so many different ones this month to go with this collection. Let me know your favorite down in the comments section below. Thank you all so very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it was fun. I'm so, so grateful to every single one of you guys watching. It's just, it's just really nice that this gets to be my job. It never really gets old. Like it's not ever something I take for granted that I get to make soap making YouTube videos. It's so niche. <laughs> it's so niche. It's very hard to explain. Let me tell you. It is very hard to explain to people who don't know me what I do for a living because it doesn't sound real. And I'm always looking for like a perfect way to say it. If I can tell that they're asking out of politeness and not true interest, I'll just say, my husband and I and our family own and run a small business together. And that just kind of, you know, gets rid of the question. But man, if they're like truly interested and they're like, so what do you do exactly? I'm like, well, I make soap and they're really pretty. It's not like any soap you've ever seen before, probably. <laughs> like, there's just no way to make it sound real. Here's to hoping that this gets more and more normal as we go on. If you're a fellow soap maker and entrepreneur, I would love to know how you answer that question, especially if you do it full time. Also, I know, I know I'm talking a lot, but I just wanna say, I've been tagged in a lot of TikToks and Instagrams recently from people starting their own soap shops. And that just absolutely just, oh, my whole week gets made when I see that people have used the Royal Creative Academy and are like getting good at soap making and now they want to sell it and it's become their passion and their dream. You can't put a price on that. That is the greatest ever. <laughs> Always when it happens, there'll be somebody who comments and they're like, why are you telling her this? You're her competition. No, I don't do that. We don't say that word around here. 
<laughs> you're not my competition. You are my community. As I've said a million times before, there are 7 billion people in this world and I cannot clean them all. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that we're all pushing each other to do better collectively because I have specifically noticed that as the soap community on the internet has grown, the soaps and the art has gotten better. I think it's because we're all just collectively just linking arms and helping everyone move forward. That's what I want to see. That's what I'm here for. I'm very, very grateful. I do really want to add some more videos to the Royal Creative Academy. If you've already made it this far in the video, which I know, Caleb's gonna edit this and be like, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> if you've made it this far, start a discussion down below. Let me know what sort of videos you think I should add to the Royal Creative Academy. I'm never gonna charge anything for the Academy. It's always gonna be free. I'm always gonna try to get you guys the best deals that I can so that you can make soap inexpensively and beautifully. That's gonna be my goal with that. I would love to add a couple more videos just to kind of help keep you going, I guess. What a life. Huh. I'm so content. <laughs> Hopefully I can get those Royal Creative Academy videos done sooner rather than later. Just know in the back that I'm thinking about you and I want to create content that actually helps you, but I'm just, I'm having to get myself in order a little bit more first and then I can focus a little bit more on YouTube and stuff. So anyways, okay, I've dropped way too long, way too long. Have an absolutely royal day. Please go do something fun for yourself today. I don't care what that is. Go watch some TikTok if you need to watch some TikTok. Go bake some bread. Just do something that makes you happy. I'll see you guys in the next video where we will start working on our uh, holiday soaps because soap makers are always one month ahead. <laughs> Have an absolutely royal day, guys. I will see you all very soon. And until then, bye for now.